yet you put it in this garbage bag and you keep carrying it with you from one relationship to another relationship, from one transaction to the next transaction, but you can't even remember it very well anymore. It's gone. Do you see what I'm talking about? Can you just, with open mind, look back and examine the validity of your past, whether it's real or not? Did it really happen? Does it exist? Did, I, did this things really happen to me? How come I don't have a record of it except in my memory? And my memory is not playing very well. It's playing a trick on me. Get together with two or three of your high school friends or college friends. Something from 10, 20 years ago. Sit down and talk about the things you used to do. Let's say, you know, four, four ladies get together. They used to be good college friends or high school friends. And you come together with your friends and you start talking about the past. Each of you have a different story. None of the story is going to be the same. Everybody has a different story of the events that happen. That you used to go to the parties, you went da 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 da, you did this, you did that, and everybody has their own version of a story. None of them are matching. So whose story is right? Check it out for yourself. Get together with one of your old friends, talk about old memories, and see if you have the identical story. And I guarantee you, you don't. Barely you have the identical story. Everybody has a different version. Everybody remembers it differently. So which one is the right story? Check it out. Don't take my word for it. Examine it for yourself. You will discover that you don't really remember so much of your past. You can say, well, I blocked it off or whatever. Unconsciously, it's so painful. I don't want to go there and I blocked it off. Whatever, whether you did or it happened or your subconscious blocked it, it doesn't matter. But did it really happen and where is it? So what I'm pointing out and what I'm trying to share with you is that this is a part of your work. You want to be free. You want to be free. You want to be here. You want to be at the company of the presence and be illuminated and become one with what is to dive into the oneness, to raise your consciousness, ascending your consciousness to fifth dimensional consciousness then you can't take that garbage bag with you to where you're going. You're going to let go of that garbage bag. You need to be reborn. You have to be new. Because when you come here and you're hanging out with the, your being in the presence, all of these other things, they're irrelevant. Your past is irrelevant. And what's going to happen to me in the future becomes irrelevant. Because here is the only moment there is. It's always here. It's always now. It's not anywhere else. It can't be anywhere else. Here and now is the only moment you and I have. That's the only moment we're ever going to get. 
and it's always fresh because now is not connected to moment ago. They're vertical moments. They're not attached to each other. Each moment happens and it's gone forever. And a brand new moment happens and it's gone forever. So it's always this fresh moment is happening in life. They're not attached to each other. If they were attached to each other, you could go back and forth. But they're not attached to each other. They're disconnected. So each moment in life happens once and it's over. And it never happens again. Not that moment. And it's gone forever, finished, non-existing. And all your future moments, non-existing. It's just a projection, a projection of your mind into the future because future doesn't exist. There is not, not such a thing as future. It's always now. Because that's the only thing exists. Now is the only thing that exists. Now is the only thing ever existed. There is nothing outside of now. So you want to go to your past and bring the garbage bag and your problems or issues or whatever that you're imagining you have and bring him into this moment. You're gonna go there and grab that garbage bag and come and dump it on yourself here and then suffer. So you're addicted to that. You have an addiction to it, like a heroin addict, like an alcoholic. It's an addiction, it's a sickness. You think addicted people are people who are addicted to alcohol or drugs or pills. You don't know you have an addiction yourself. You're deeply addicted to your garbage bag, your past. <clears throat> and you're willing to protect it by all means. And this addiction expands into the future. It's an unconscious imprint. It's, a, it's an unconscious addiction that you're not, no one's aware of it. Nobody has ever told you that. So you don't know it. It's normal. Everybody else does it. Your girlfriends, your, fr your friends doing it. So you sit down with each other and start having some tea and eat some ice cream and you cry about your past or whatever and everybody else is just supporting you. A bunch of addicted people supporting an addiction. And we're not even aware of it. And we do it all of our lives. And then we die and we come back and do it again. And then in the meantime, you're trying to free yourself. You want freedom, but you're not aware of your addiction. Because how can you be free if you're carrying your past into your present. How can you be free? You can never be free. You're already set up for failure. It doesn't matter what you do, you are bound to fail because it's impossible. You can't fly, you can't fly high if you have 100 kilos of weight on your shoulders. You cannot fly, you can't jump. Gravity is gonna pull you back. So you got to get rid of this shit that you're carrying. 